our last coverage for finals, the unclassified antibiotics. Last time, na-startan ko na si chloramphenicol. Uh, this is included in our cell 50, which means chloramphenicol is um, an inhibitor of protein synthesis at 50S ribosomal subunit. Take And then take note also, this is our former drug of choice for, for typhoid fever. Nowadays, the drug of choice is already ceftriaxone, a third generation cephalos. And then chloramphenicol is notorious of causing gray baby syndrome and aplastic anemia. Why does it cause gray baby syndrome? Because um, the infant's class uh, don't have a well-developed glucuronidation pathway in the metabolism. Um, and then chloramphenicol is metabolized via that pathway. Therefore, uh, the, the infant cannot metabolize chloramphenicol and thus magstay ang drug inside their body, causing gray baby syndrome. So literally, the baby will become gray because of the dysfunction in the circulatory system. Okay, So that may cause um, arrest sa heart. And then we have uh, esters or salts of our chloramphenicol. This is due to the fact that chloramphenicol is a very bitter drug. That is why we have to mask the bitter taste. So just like chloramphenicol palmitate, the palmitic acid is added to render the drug tasteless, especially for pediatric use. And then we have chloramphenicol sodium succinate, which is preferred to be given uh, via IV administration. Okay? Though palmitate plus ha, um, the palmitic acid there will render also the chloramphenicol as prodrug, but inside the body, uh, it will just release the chloramphenicol and pwede na siya mag-take ug action. Okay? And then we have the novobiocin sodium, which is obtained from streptomyces steroides and streptomyces nebius. This is also a bacteriostatic agent just like our chloramphenicol and duha iyahang mechanism of action, inhibition of the protein synthesis at the same time the nucleic acid synthesis. So when you say nucleic acid synthesis class, we are talking about DNA and RNA here. And those are carriers of the genetic materials uh, sa even sa bacteria so pag walang genetic materials then um there will be no cell division and there will be no new bacterial cell na ma form so where can we use the novobiocin sodium these are uh, this is effective against gram positive bacteria and also the proteus vulgaris which is a gram negative bacteria and then we have the mupirocin. Uh, I don't know if this is familiar sa inyo. Ha? The, the common brand name of mupirocin in the market is Bactroban. It's another antibiotic but derived from Pseudomonas fluorescens. And just like the Novobiocin sodium, this is also a nucleic acid synthesis inhibitor. So pwede niyang i-inhibit ang both RNA and DNA synthesis. So it's on the part of the replication and transcription in the central dogma of life. If you can still remember that in your biochem. Now, Bactroban is available in the market in topical form or topical administration. That is why mupirocin is given for um, various na mga skin infections like impetigo. Impetigo is common in children. Uh, this is also caused by Staphylococcus aureus. So, mga na ay mga rashes class um, that are up, itchy, and then pwede siya maging painful if masamad na siya. And then we have eczema, another skin um, condition. And then we have other pa na mga staphylococcal and beta hemolytic streptococcal infections. So, pwede siya like for example sa boils, like kanang gitigsa, gani ka. If you cannot take a, an orally given na uh, antibiotic, then you can apply mupirocin. Mupirocin is given for that condition. 
pero topical lang siya. Okay? We have questions you can ask anytime, ha? And then we have the Kinopristine slash Dalfopristine. Brand name is Sinersid. It's actually a combination drug in 30 to 70 ratio. Meaning 30% Kinopristine and 70% Dalfopristine. But both are obtained from Streptomyces pristina spiralis. That's the name of the microorganism where we obtain the combination drug. Now, we use this combination drug for most gram-positive organism. Now, how about the mechanism of action? Actually, pwede na ito siya idugang dito sa ito ang cell 50 kasi this is also a protein synthesis inhibitor at 50S ribosomal subunit. And then, um, last time, mga two weeks ago, I think I have um, introduced to you the linezolid. If able ka to take oral antibiotics. Um, for boils, especially if the boils are recurrent, pabalik-balik na lang, and severe na siya, malaki na yung, ano, yung pigsa class, um, I prefer to take the oral, oral antibiotic kasi it is able to kill even the bacteria that is deep-seated. Okay? Deep-seated siya. Pwede niyang patayon. Kasi pag topical lang, it's most likely superficial. So, naalang siya sa skin. So, katong mga deep-seated na mga bacteria, baka di, basigili niya mapatay. So, pwede siya maging recurrent. So, for boils na severe and nag-recur, I prefer the orally taken antibiotics. Okay? Anything else? Wala na? So, the next drug we have here is the linezolid, uh, in which I already introduce, introduced this to you as a drug used to treat the vancomycin-resistant staphylococcus aureus. So, remember class, ang atong mga staphylococcus aureus has already mutated. Um, we have now the MRSA, the methicillin-resistant staphylococcus aureus. The methicillin class is an anti-staphylococcal penicillin. So, naging, may, may mga strains na na... Ano, na Resistant na for methicillin, so ang drug of choice anak kay vancomycin. Now, sadly and unfortunately, na ano po yung mga another mutation nga nahita bo wherein the MRSA uh, has become VRSA. So it it is now vancomycin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, uh, and these bacteria are already very strong. So our only choice to kill the VRSA is linezolid. So that's the no, that's the only choice. Um, fortunately, wala pa ko nakabati og LRSA na linezolid resistant Staphylococcus aureus. Murag lisud na gyud na siya kaayo. So actually sa MRSA pa lang class daghan na ta og casualties. Na ako ay, na ako ay, di ba, nabasahan na due to makeup brush um, na transfer ang MRSA sa isa ka person and siya pa hinuon ang namatay. So, kaya di ba pimples? So, nag-evolve ang, nag-mutate ang Staphylococcus aureus sa pimples sa isa ka person tapos nag-brush, makeup brush, gihulam sa isa ka tao, natakdan siya and siya ang namatay. So, lisod kung dili na siya matablan sa linezolid. Okay, sige, bless sil. Sige. Now, this is another protein inhibitor, but kasali siya, pwede na to siya isali dito sa atong at 30 kasi aminoglycosides ng tog tetracyclines. Linezolid are uh, bacteriostatic agent, protein synthesis inhibitor at 30S ribosomal subunit. So even if bacteriostatic lang siya class, it is active against mga resistant bacterial strains. So muna to, appeal na din ha ang vancomycin resistant staphylococcus or use. And if I'm not mistaken, mistaken this is a very expensive antibiotic. So, this would class kung magkaroon tag-infection that is already considered a vancomycin-resistant 
stuff or use kasi the next drug will be very expensive na. And like threatening na na siya basta ang imuhang infection is caused by a resistant strain, strain already. Okay? And then we have the phosphomycin which is a broad spectrum bactericidal agent that inactivates the first enzyme in the bacterial cell wall synthesis. Pero this one is just effective syempre for those bacteria nga na ay cell wall. Okay? Dito man iyahang activity sa cell wall synthesis. Dili ni mo pwede gamiton si phosphomycin um, for... Mycoplasma, kasi mycoplasma is our smallest bacteria and it has no cell wall. So resistant si, si mycoplasma sa phosphomycin. Okay, questions about our unclassified na mga antibiotics. They are unclassified because although they have similar mechanism of action to other drugs, but their structures are different. So, dili po na to sila pwede iisa. Bastions, wala. Let's move on sa atong mga newer antibiotics. So, we have the tigacycline. Uh, this one class should be included sa atong mga tetracycline. So, this is a tetracycline, ha? pero a new tetracycline. Therefore, it has the same mechanism of action with that of the tetracycline. Now we have the astreunam. This is a monobactam. Remember, we have the beta-lactam antibiotics. We discussed the penicillin, cephalosporins, and then the carbapenem. So ang ikaupat din ha, class ang monobactam in which the structure only contains the beta-lactam ring. Mauna siya ang ginatawag og monobactam. And a new drug, a new monobactam in the market is called astreunam. It's obtained from chromobacterium violaceum. Therefore, kung beta-lactam uh, antibiotic siya, so the mechanism of action is the same with that of the penicillin. Meaning, uh, cell wall synthesis inhibitor gihapon si astreunam. But astreunam, I think, is more... If, uh, more ang iyahang activity ha compared to penicillin, mas taas iyahang activity sa gram-negative bacteria. Okay? Kasi si penicillin is more active sa gram-positive. Ang advantage ni astreunam, mas taas iyang activity sa gram-negative bacteria. And another advantage of astreunam is it's resistant to penicillinases and cephalosporinase. So, bisan pag the bacteria is able to produce these enzymes, uh, dili maguba ang structure ni astreunam. So, it will not be inactive. Vated. So, pwede nimo siya gamiton like for staphylococcus or use that is capable of producing uh, penicillinases. Effective gihapon siya. Sige. So again, this is indicated for most gram-negative bacterial infections. Next, we have the ertrapenem. Now, from the name itself, you can say na uh, this is a new carbapenem. So, di ba, atong mga carbapenem, we have the imipenem and then the meropenem. So, this one is a new drug, ertrapenem, a carbapenem, which is also a beta-lactam antibiotic. Thus, the mechanism of action is the same with that of our penicillin. Cell wall synthesis inhibitor, gihapon. And then we have the telithromycin brand name is Ketek. This is another or a new macrolide, uh, orally available macrolide. So appeal siya dito sa ato ang care, but this is a new drug. So since macrolide man siya, meaning the same mechanism of action with that of the macrolide. Protein synthesis inhibitor gihapon siya at 50S ribosomal subunit. But take note of the telithromycin. It's only recommended for patients 18 years of age and older. Ang mga children class, a considered children na to, uh, they are not able to tolerate this drug. Para lang siya sa mga adult. And then lastly, I think this is the last, we have the platensimycin. 
Platensimycin isolated from Streptomyces platensis. This is a new drug that is ag active against wide spectrum of gram-positive bacteria. And um, compared to all the existing antibiotics na na-discuss na to class, uh, si platensimycin is a different one in terms sa mechanism of action niya. Kasi mostly sa itong mga antibiotics, they are protein inhibitors, they are cell wall synthesis inhibitors, and some are nucleic acid synthesis inhibitors. But this time, si platensimycin inhibits the fatty acid synthesis. So, iyahang target class ang fatty acids sa mga bacteria. But actually, ang fatty acids are also important part of the different organelles of the bacteria including the cell wall. So, dito, dito ang iyahang target. Daghan og mga uh, part sa cell, sa bacteria, ang pwede magkaroon og dysfunction due to the inhibition of the fatty acid synthesis. Okay? Questions? This is um, unclassified drug ha, because it has a different mechanism of action. So that's it for the chapter 8. That's it for our Farm Chem 2 class. Questions? On to tanan atong mga antibiotics. So ang mga other drugs na wala na to na discuss sa PICOL, PICOL 1 o wala na to na discuss sa PharmChem 2, we'll have it sa inyong PICOL 2 sa first sem sa inyong fourth year. But that is ano um that comes with a laboratory component. Wala wala pang tanan. 